everyone how are you today welcome back to my channel yes i'm wearing the same outfit because i'm kind of doing two videos at the same time because i'm in the mood of cooking and i want to do it and i don't want to waste time like going and change just to be in different outfits and tell you oh girl you know i've been doing this uh, in different days no i have done it in the same day it's actually 12 30 midday so i'm very active if i may say so hope everybody's healthy please stay home stay home stay home stay home so we can go out you know what i mean you know so in today's video as you have may notice from the title i'm going to show you how to use one cabbage for two meals i like to do this type of dishes we love cabbage i love cabbage nader also likes cabbage so yay and it's very healthy and good for you and this is like two very easy meals to do so usually i buy one cabbage that is like a medium size and i do two meals and just sew them in we will probably have one of the meal now for lunch and the other one i'm just going to put in the fridge and we will have for dinner so the food stuff for today it will be sorted out so all the time i already started but all the time when i buy cabbage i take the first layer out because it has been touched or some of the parts they are getting like not spoiled but passed already so the first layer i take them out so the first layer is all done look how beautiful it is so personally i like to shred it using this device because uh, the pieces are very small and i don't like to have like like long strips i like to be like very nice dice so i'm going to use this one all also, I saw a lot of people using this that uh, for the peeling, but it's coming like longer stripes and you just cut them. But if you have very good knife skills, go ahead, use your knife skills, but I ain't got those, so I'm going to use this one. Cabbage, cut it in the middle, and here we go. You see, it's shred very nicely here, and all done nice cutting the cabbage i was uh, thinking oh my god i didn't even say what two of the dishes are i said i'm going to make two dishes stay tuned let me tell you a little bit of the dishes so first of all i'm going to make a cabbage soup this is very easy and it's delicious i personally love it and i'm going to show you how i make my soups this is like the, the beginning it's for all my soups and then different ingredients of course and the second dish is pasta with cabbage but i'm going to show you how i prepare the cabbage so there are two different dishes for you to enjoy with cabbage that it's very simple what is nice about these two dishes that you can make them at the same time like you're doing two things at the same time so pretty neat pretty neat pretty cool pretty nice let's go with nice i don't know if anyone else do it but in my house whenever we were preparing something with cabbage we all the time eat this like the middle part it's so tasty you just need to remove all this part remove all this not a lot of it in the middle after you clean it properly but it looks something like this it's delicious mm, so nice and one more this one is bigger so nice so nice i put the water to be boiled for the pasta not going to add the full package around half of it and we just leave it to boil So with all this time the pasta is already done I'm not going to show you how it looks like because I'm sure that you know how to boil pasta Depends on how do you like it Ardiente or I like it very boiled so the pasta is done also you can choose whatever pasta you want it doesn't matter the shape of the pasta you can use which one do you want but I like to use this one because it has egg in the pasta the battery decide to 
leave the room. So I was saying that I like this type of pasta because it has egg in it. It's just my personal preferences. You can use which one do you want, gluten-free, egg-free, all, da, 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 all these other options. So this is just the way that I like to eat them and prepare them. So you can feel free to mix and match, you know. Now when it comes to the cabbage, you just put a pot on the stove, some olive oil and just you just put the cabbage there. Don't get scared, it would look like it's a lot, but it will reduce a lot. There's a lot of water in the cabbage naturally, so it's going to reduce a lot. Also, this cabbage, when you put it on the stove, you need to be very careful because at the beginning it, it can get stick to the pan very, very fast. I would recommend just to clean your kitchen or do something that is very close. Just don't put it on the stove and just go do something else because it needs some attention. So, so basically that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to keep an eye on it and just do the dishes because there's quite some. you can see it reduces a lot still needs some few minutes but i'm going to add some pepper now and some vegeta salt as well Mix, mix, mix. Now, to taste it, to see if it's done or not, you just take it a little bit. It has to be like very smooth, very nice. Because the cabbage, you know, it's very crunchy. Ah, it's so hot. So, if you put it between your fingers, it has to be like very soft, like this. Mm, it's nice. If you want to give it a little bit of color, most of the time, my sister, she's putting some paprika on it. I usually don't do it because I like it. So just going to add now the pasta. Ta-da! This is the final product. Also the soup is going strong. I just leave it in a very low heat just to cook very slow. This is my plate and this is Nader's. That's all, like for a lunch. There's not anything left because the cabbage is reducing a lot. So that's going to be our lunch. Let's have lunch. Enjoy. Nader and myself just had the lunch. We had pasta with the cabbage and it was delicious. It was delicious, Nader. Did you like the lunch? Love it. He likes it. Thank you, Katerina. You're welcome. And I wanted to share these recipes with you because I know everybody's home these days and you're maybe like going nuts with what should I do for lunch and what should I cook next or what should I eat. So I thought that I'm going to share this one with you and don't mind the pile of dishes again. But that's what it is when you cook. And I like to pile them there and just wash them all together not wash them one by one so so I'm just going to taste a little bit the soup to see if it needs more condiments it needs something else to be added so it's very good but I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice just a little bit of sourness if it's too sweet and it is right now so I'm going to put some lemon zest inside Yummy. So I'm having here one lemon. I'm going to wash it, cut it in the middle and put for the moment half of it. Just boil a little bit more and then we'll see if it needs more. At this moment I like to add more pepper if it needs so salt and salt. I'm doing the same thing just using one strainer just to keep all this stuff from the lemon to go inside. Look at that soup, yummy. Just going to give it a taste. Delicious. Going to add some salt and 
mix it. Oh, do do, looks delicious. Now at this stage, if you want more soup, more water soup, watery soup, how do I call it? You can add water, but just in case you decide to add, just add hot water. Don't add cold water, just add hot water. I'm just going to pour a little bit more and then done. So this is my soup right now. It's just here on the stove and it turned out very nice and it's delicious. Of course, you can add sour cream to it. I love sour cream, Nadir doesn't like it that much. <laughs> He's looking at me, what are you talking about? But I like to add sour cream and we actually like it a lot, but we usually add like sour cream when we serve it. Tonight, when we're gonna eat it, I'm going to insert a clip right here. There we have it very delicious and very nice and very easy to make thank you very much for watching this video i hope that you enjoy it please subscribe and stay home people stay home bye